Good day Forex Trader. Your USD Forex signal, range bound ahead of Powell testimony. The outlook of the pair is currently neutral, meaning that a breakout will happen in either side. Bullish view. Buy the Euro USD and set a take profit at 1.1400. Add a stop loss at 1.1250. Timeline, 1 to 2 days. Bearish view. Set a sell stop at 1.1300 and a take profit at 1.1200. Add a stop loss at 1.1400. The EURUSD pair bounced back slightly in the overnight session after it crashed to a low of 1.1285 on Monday. It is trading at 1.1326, which is still a few points below its post NFP data high of 1.1365. Volatility rises. The overnight session was characterized by rising volatility in the United States. The CBOE volatility index rose by over 17% on Monday as investors remained concerned about the Federal Reserve and its potential actions this year. As a result, the Nasdaq 100 index declined by over 300 points and crashed to a bear territory. Other indices like the Dow Jones, S&P 500 and the Russell 2000 also declined by more than 1%. The rising volatility is mostly because of the Federal Reserve. Judging by the past utterances by Fed officials, analysts have started to price in a more hawkish Fed in the next few months. Such a move will be supported by economic data. For example, data published on Friday showed that the unemployment rate declined to 3.9% in December. That was the lowest it has been since the pandemic started. Inflation has also surged. The US will publish the latest inflation numbers tomorrow and analysts expect that the situation worsened in December. They expect that the headline CPI jumped from 6.8% in November to 7% in December. Also, the core consumer inflation is expected to have risen to 5.4%. Therefore, the EURUSD pair will react to the upcoming speeches by key Fed officials like Loretta Mester and Esther George. Most importantly, the pair will react to a testimony by Jerome Powell, the Fed chair. The EURUSD pair also reacted to the latest employment numbers from the Eurozone. According to Eurostat, the bloc's unemployment rate declined to 7.2% in November. EURUSD forecast the EURUSD pair has been in a tight range in the past few weeks. On Friday, the pair rose to 1.1365 after the mixed jobs numbers from the US. On Monday, it erased some of those gains and moved to a low of 1.1285. It is between the horizontal channel shown in black. Also, the pair is trading at the same level as the 25-day and 50-day moving averages while the MACD has moved slightly above the neutral level. Therefore, the outlook of the pair is currently neutral, meaning that a breakout will happen in either side. The key support and resistance levels to watch will be at 1.1280 and 1.1360, respectively. GBP USD Forex signal, more upside amid Fed and Bow convergence. The next key reference level to watch will be at 1.3620. Bullish view. Buy the GBP USD and set a take profit at 1.3620. Add a stop loss at 1.3540. Timeline, 1 to 2 days. Bearish view. Set a sell stop at 1.3550 and a take profit at 1.3500. Add a stop loss at 1.3620. The GBP USD pair held steady as focus remained on the rising American and UK bond yields. The pair rose to a high of 1.3565, which was higher than Monday's low of 1.3535. Bond yields jump. American and British bond yields have been in a bullish trend in the past few weeks as investors anticipate more tightening by the Fed and Bank of England. In the UK, the 10 year gilt jumped to 1.1915% which was its highest level since late 2018. This rally happened as investors predicted that the Bank of England, BO, will continue with its tightening policies after it hiked rates by 0.25% in December. Meanwhile, in the US, 
the 10-year bond yield rose to 1.79%, which was the highest level since 2019. The bond sell-off also continued in the 30-year market, whose yield rose to 2.13%. Analysts expect that the Federal Reserve will take a combative role this year in its bid to lower inflation. That will involve ending its quantitative easing policy in March or earlier and then immediately hiking interest rates. Conditions look good for the Fed to take these actions. For example, data published on Friday revealed that the unemployment rate has collapsed to the lowest level since the pandemic started. Subsequently, wages have also jumped sharply in the past few months as the labor market tightens. As part of its dual mandate, the bank is also watching the inflation figures. On Wednesday, the U.S. Statistics Agency will publish the latest inflation reading. Economists expect the data to show that the headline consumer price index, CPI, rose to 7% while core CPI rose to 5.4%. These will be the biggest numbers in decades. Later on Tuesday, Jerome Powell will provide more pointers about what the Fed will do in the upcoming meetings. GBP USD forecast. The three hour chart shows that the GBP USD pair has been in a bullish trend in the past few weeks. Along the way, the pair has remained above the 25 day and 50 day moving averages. It has also moved above the Ichimoku cloud while the moving average convergence divergence, MACD, has moved above the neutral line. Therefore, the pair will likely keep rising as investors price in a convergence between the Fed and the Bank of England. The next key reference level to watch will be at 1.3620. AUD USD Forex signal, more bearish below 0.7200. Today's AUD USD signals. Risk 0.75%. Trades may only be taken prior to 5 p.m. Tokyo time Wednesday. Short trade ideas. Go short following a bearish price action reversal on the H1 time frame immediately upon the next touch of 0.7223 or 0.7302. Put the stop loss one pip above the local swing high. Adjust the stop loss to break even once the trade is 20 pips in profit. Take off 50% of the position as profit when the price reaches 20 pips in profit and leave the remainder of the position to run. Long trade ideas. Go long following a bullish price action reversal on the H1 time frame immediately upon the next touch of 0.7177 or 0.7123. Put the stop loss one pip below the local swing low. Adjust the stop loss to break even once the trade is 20 pips in profit. Take off 50% of the position as profit when the price reaches 20 pips in profit and leave the remainder of the position to run. The best method to identify a classic price action reversal is for an hourly candle to close, such as a pin bar, a dodgy, an outside or even just an engulfing candle with a higher close. You can exploit these levels or zones by watching the price action that occurs at the given levels. AUD USD Analysis I wrote yesterday that I had little faith in 0.7189 as a support level. This was a good call as although this level held up for a few hours it was quickly broken. However, I did express a lot of doubt about being long of any risky assets yesterday such as the Australian dollar as I foresaw a potential souring of risk sentiment and we did see this in the market yesterday, although stock markets recovered their initial losses later in the day. Although there is an obvious technical support level at 0.7177, this level again looks very unreliable. Instead, the price chart below shows a succession of lower highs, with the area around the round number at 0.7200 again acting as resistance. Bulls have a little hope as there has recently been a higher low, but I think overall I must call the technical picture as basically weakly bearish. Unfortunately, I do not see any likely trade opportunities here today but I would say that if the price gets established below 0.7177 it will probably fall to 0.7150 at least. A long trade from a bullish bounce T0.7123 if reached would look attractive.